think everybody should do what they want to do. Just so you know, I'm pro freedom. Like if it works for you, then it works for me. If you happy with it, then, then I'm double happy with it. So I want to make that clear. I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm just here to say, let's broaden our thinking a little bit and stop doing this sort of government controlled analysis where the government is telling you what's important and what's not. So, so that, so that's exhibit B of why jobs are a scam. Uh, one, uh, they screw you, they, they screw you financially on average. Two, um, uh, they, they've distracted you from what I think uh, could be an equally, if not more noble purpose in your life. Uh, in fact, they take you away from your life. People started noticing that during the pandemic when they were home for the first time in years. They started realizing how many other things uh, are you know, happening in their lives that they were missing because they were at work every day. And I could keep going into uh, the racial microaggressions and the mental health damage that's done, the physical health damage, I, I, or corporations that will literally cut your job because they got bought out by another company and the company decided they can make more money by selling the, selling the whole business and breaking it into little pieces and, and whatever. Like I could talk about this, right? I could talk about the fact that these hoes ain't loyal, as Chris Brown used to say, that corporations are not loyal to you, right? So being loyal to a company doesn't, it's like being loyal to a politician. It just doesn't make any sense. They're, neither one of those are designed to be loyal to you. So you have to be, in my view, loyal to yourself, loyal to your family, loyal to your community. Be loyal to things that are going to be loyal back, not um, the other stuff. The third reason that I think jobs are a scam is I thought about this, right? Now, I'm going to use a heavy word that's been used a lot lately because there's this guy named Diddy right, who's accused of a, a lot of crazy crimes, right? One of the words that's been used a lot in reference to Diddy is the word trafficking, right? Trafficking, right? Uh, sex trafficking, human trafficking, all this stuff, right? And And I was thinking about that, and I said, I wonder what the actual definition of trafficking is, right? So my thought of trafficking is, you know, under duress, where you force someone to do something, right? Force labor. I'm going to force you to sleep with me. I'm going to force you to work for me, right? That That's what we think about when we think about trafficking. But actually, did you all know that you can actually have trafficking that is not forced, that is not coerced? You can have trafficking with consent. Uh, and it, where uh, one party is exploiting another party by getting the other, the first party to consent to doing whatever they do. Re let me read the definition. Human trafficking with consent refers to situations where an individual seemingly agrees, seemingly agrees to participate in activities that may involve exploitation such as forced labor or sex work. However, the key issue in human trafficking is not just consent, but the conditions under which that consent is given. So here's the deal. When you go to work every day, you are consenting to go to work. Right. Like, I want to see if you know where I'm going with this. You're consenting. You, you, nobody's making you go to work. They, they tell you like, hey, look, if you don't like it here, you can quit. You can just stay home and, you know, whatever. Right. So so you're consenting. But do you feel a little bit coerced? Like, do you really think that 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 it's full consent? Like, like if you really if you really could do what you wanted to do, would you be going to work? So you're kind of volunteering to do it, but but are you really volunteering? Like, like there are things that I consent to willingly, even if there's other things I can do. Like I consent to sleeping with my wife because she's the most beautiful woman in the world. I consent to that. She does not have to trick me into any of that. I, 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 I ain't too proud to beg. Shout out to TLC. Okay. But there's some stuff where I might consent to do it, but I don't really want to consent. You understand? Like, like it's kind of under duress. Right. So 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 let me keep reading the definition. And I want you to kind of process this in terms of why I why, why Dr. Boyce believes that for most Americans, jobs are kind of this big old scam. Um, however, the key issue in human trafficking is not just consent, but the conditions under which that consent is given. Often people are coerced, manipulated, misled or under duress when they give their consent making it not genuine or fully informed. 